The Ring of Kerry travels through County Kerry in the southwest of Ireland. It is on the Ivera Peninsula, known as the most popular and well-known place in southwest Ireland. It is tucked along part of the Wild Atlantic Way. From north to south, Kerry has three peninsulas. The Dingle Peninsula, the Ivera Peninsula, and the Barra Peninsula. The Ring of Kerry runs along the N70, which is a ring road that goes around the Ivera Peninsula. The road runs from Killarney to Kenmare along Kenmare Bay, past the villages of Sneem and Caherdania, then heads north along the Skelling Road and along the northern shores of the peninsula before looping back to Killarney. The Ring of Kerry Loop is 111 miles long, and if you don't stop, it takes about three and a half hours to drive around it. But you should always take your time to enjoy Kerry's wide range of nature, culture, and things to do. One way to do this is to rent a car and go on a self-drive tour of the Ring of Kerry. This way, you can take your time and enjoy everything the Rich Peninsula has to offer. To get the most out of this scenic route, you should spend most of your day learning about the culture and nature of the area. This will also cut down on the time you spend driving. Take a break to see amazing places like the world famous Skelling Michael, where the recent Star Wars movies were filmed, and then take a relaxing boat ride through the beautiful lakes of Killarney. Many people who visit Ireland fall in love with Kenmare because of its pretty gardens and stone cottages with flowers spilling out of their window boxes. People often call it the crown jewel on the Ring of Kerry. You can spend a lovely afternoon just walking around, going to the pier and exploring the shoreline when the tide is out. Here you can often see herons fishing off the rocks. This haven of tranquility has a lot of great Irish culinary fare, as well as golf courses, places to hike, and horseback riding. Killarney National Park is part of the Ring of Kerry. The park is one of the most magical places in Ireland. It has waterfalls, a lot of lakes, beautiful forests, and even castles. Hiking is probably the best way to see all of this beautiful scenery up close and personal. For example, the short hike to Torque Waterfall, which drops 60 feet from the Torque Mountains via a river called the Devil's Punch Bowl, is a good example. The walk that starts and ends at Muckrose House is another option. This great route has very little climbing, and you'll get to see historic buildings and formal gardens along the way. Many people think that driving around the Ring of Kerry is the classic way to see the area. However, hiking the mountains of Kerry on a guided tour is a great alternative for those who want to do something more active and off the beaten path. Not only will you get to climb some of Ireland's best peaks, like the amazing Karen Toho, which is Ireland's highest peak, but you'll also get to relax in some of Southwest Ireland's most luxurious hotels and B&Bs. As you drive on the ring through the gap to Killarney National Park, you will see some stunningly beautiful hills and valleys. They are very different from the gentle beauty of the coast. Be careful when you drive because free range sheep may be on the road with you. Biking the Kerry Peninsula is another rugged way to see some of Kerry's best sights. This challenging route has some of Ireland's best bike routes and is full of exciting climbs and descents.
In theory, you could drive around the Ring of Kerry in a single day, but it's rushing it to pack in so many great places to see into such a short time. You'll enjoy this famous, inspiring, and jaw-dropping natural wonder much more if you take your time to enjoy each moment and make memories that will last a lifetime. We hope you enjoyed this journey. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see all of our videos of all the amazing places to see in the world.